Hey, sir. Yeah, hi. You got your license on you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? You have a headlight out. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Okay. No problem other than that. There's my license. Okay, this is Kurt Nagy on counter form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you coming from tonight? What's that? Where you coming from tonight? Uh, I've just been working hard, and that's it. Okay. Have you anything to drink tonight? No. Nothing to drink? Nothing. Okay. I see if you smell something in the vehicle. No? You have an ID on you? No. So I'm sorry about the headline. Okay. Things happen. <clears throat> Sit back here with me, sir. Okay. Want to step back here? Out the car? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Where are we going? It's right here. Okay. Step back here. I am. I'm going with you. Okay. Well, I should get Have you anything to drink tonight? No. Okay. Let's know in the vehicle. What's that? I smell it in the vehicle. There's nothing in the vehicle. Are you, do you have a hearing aid or? No, I do not. Okay. No. Double check it. Okay. What I'm going to do is run you through the sobriety test, check your ability to drive. Okay, that already checks out right. Let you go. Like I said, the reason I stopped you now is because of the headlight, okay? I'm sorry about the headlight. I mean. Well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all right. Things happen. I mean, lights go out. It happens. I'm a lawyer in okay. Cincinnati. Okay. I understand that. Okay. But, you know, I'll pay the headlight for my, for my tech. Well, I'm not going to write you a ticket tonight for it. Okay. It's just, a war just worth a warning, okay? Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Then we can go. Okay. Why don't you just step over here out of the light? All right. So it doesn't affect your eyes or anything? All right. Okay. So put your arms down by your side? Okay. Just follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yes. Then so follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Sure. Don't move your head. You're moving your head. What? Well, just your eyes. That's all okay. I need. You're moving your head, bud. Well, I know, but it's okay. Okay. Where are you lawyer at? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati. Okay. You're in a whole other state, okay? I know. Okay. I know. All right. I'm true. Okay. Again, follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head. Right there. Are you going to do the test or not? Well, I did. That guy just came here, though. That's all. I don't care about the guy. Okay, I know. Okay. Your eyes are like marbles in your head. My eyes are... Okay. You good? Well, got a couple more tests to show. To do right. for you, okay? Well, How are your legs and everything? What do you mean? How are your legs? As far as walking, bouncing, stuff like that? I have had some knee injuries lately, but other okay. than that, I'm okay. Okay, what do you got in your mouth? Chewing gum? Um, okay, we're just going to spit that out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's back over here. All right. Okay, which leg would, would you say would be the best? What, the stand on? Yeah. 
Oh, gee. Uh, probably my right leg. Okay. No, my left leg would be better, I think. Okay. Like I said, any leg you want, raise a six inch off the ground. When I tell you to do so, six inch off the ground, toe pointing out. You're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, just like that. Tay Tay, stop, okay? Okay. Okay. Hang on. So what do you want me to do? You want me to do this? Okay. Yeah, when I tell you to begin, you're going to raise your foot, six inches off the ground, toe point out. You're going to hold that position. You're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, just like that. Tay Tay, stop. That's pretty hard to do. I know, just try to do the best you can do. Okay. So are we okay so far, though? Well, I don't know. You wouldn't do the test right. What? You wouldn't do the test right with my finger, so... I tried to. Did I not do it right? Well, you start turning your head no, a couple no, times. No, no, but after that, I did it okay, right? Yeah. Well, not really. Your eyes were just moving back and forth. You wouldn't follow my finger or anything. All right, so I'm just going to move on to the next test. All right. Okay. All right. So did I fail that one? Technically, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. So, we're going to go for this test here, well, see how we do here. So, wait a second. Let's, am I okay or not okay? Oh, no, I smell alcohol in your breath. No. <laughs> no? No. No alcohol. Okay, let's how about we just do this to prove it. Would you take a portable breath test right now to prove no, it? I will not. Okay, then we're going to go forward with the test. If not, it's going to be considered a refusal. Are you going to refuse my test? No, I don't want to. Okay, so let's just go and continue on with what we're going okay, to do. Okay, but, you know, if you're not... All right, let's go. Okay. Either way you want, like I said, you're going to raise the six inches off the ground, toe pointed out. You're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, on, like I'm doing right here. Okay. okay. Hold on a second. Let me, it's going to be timed. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. You're holding on to the vehicle. you got to come away from the vehicle. Hey, sir? Yeah? Come over here. Away from the vehicle. I told you when I began. I tell you to begin. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Okay, begin. You gotta get your hand off the vehicle. Okay. You're not completed yet. I'm on a hill here, too. You're, I just held the position right here. But you're... <laughs> I got 20 you're pounds of extra to, weight around my waist. I got 22. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay. We're going to do another test, okay? Let's start over here. All right, facing that way. Yeah. Put your right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe, just like that. Okay, hold that position. When I tell you to begin, go ahead and hold that position. Okay, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel toe steps just like this. One, two, three, four, all the way to nine. That being your ninth step, you're going to take a pivot turn just like this. Come back to heel toe. Like this? Well, you're supposed to walk straight, but. You? Okay. Okay, stop, stop, stop. All right, step back over here away from me. Okay, I'm going to read you something, okay? Are you going to take a portable breath test? No. Okay, I have probable cause to believe you operated a vehicle while intoxicated. Refuse to submit to a chemical test results in suspension one year of your driver's license, okay, for refusing the test. If you have a previous conviction for operating while intoxicated, okay, if you have a previous conviction for operating while intoxicated, you refuse to submit to my chemical test results in suspension for two years. Will you take the certified test? No. Okay. Just Turn around for Chan to be on your back. What am I doing? You're being placed under arrest for DUI. Why? Refusal. Because you're clearly intoxicated. You can't do none of the tests right. You're going to give me problems. I can smell the alcohol I'm in the not breath. I'm trying to give you a problem. We are. We are. I don't care if you're a lawyer or not. This isn't Ohio. This is Indiana. We do things a little bit different here. Okay? That's a problem I, I always run into with people from Ohio. They don't I'm think they have to do an sorry. officer's test. I'm very sorry. Okay. Well, you're not sorry because you're not doing my test. You understand I'm the job I have to perform. To you, I'm trying to do your job. I really am. You're not I'm doing sorry. my job. You're not doing my test. 
I'm trying to. I swear I'm trying to do your task. Okay, but you did none of them right, even after several times being explained to. Can I do to. this? No, I did the three tests. I offered you a portable breath test. You refused that. Yeah, but... I offered you a certified test, like I just read to you. You're refusing that, I guess. I don't know what a certified test is. You're down to a sheriff's department, born to a breathalyzer. You pass, catch or lose. What's your test here? What, what's the... Uh, it's a data master. You blow it to a machine. Yeah. And whatever... The reads it in alcohol above a point oh eight, then it's DUI. Well, then what happens? Then you place under arrest for DUI. Now, if you refuse that test, it's going to be refused. I'm going to take you to the sheriff's department, place you in there, and we'll get a search warrant for your blood, and we'll get your blood, and then you still go to jail. Okay? Okay. See that red dot in there? was good. But, uh, the red dot right there. Everything's been recorded and also on audio tonight. So I have documented evidence of what's going on here tonight. I know. Okay. My driving was good. Then, I didn't stop you based on your drive. I stopped you based on your headlight. Well, my headlight was... Your headlight's out. No. One of your headlights is out. That's very weak. I mean... It doesn't matter. To stop, stop. Okay. Go turn around. Are you going to take the test, first of all? So what is Indiana, though, uh, what happened? So? I just told you what happened. Did you repeat it? I, like I just read to you, I have probable cause to believe you operated a vehicle while intoxicated. Mm -hmm. All right, I must now offer you the opportunity to submit to a chemical test. Your refusal to submit to that chemical test, which is the breathalyzer, results in suspension of your driving privileges for one year. If you have a previous conviction, if you've been arrested before for OWI, no, no. your refusal to submit to my test results in suspension for two years. Will you take that test? Two-year suspension. If you have a prior, it's one year if you I don't. Have no, I have no prior. The refusal will be one year suspension. And, and? And you go to jail. Okay, but the test does what? The test tells me whether you're intoxicated or not. And if it's over 08, what happens? You go to jail. And then what happens? Then you go see the judge. You're a lawyer. You know how this works. No. Well, every district is different. Well, I mean, it's pretty I, obvious you go to jail for DUI. Not you overnight, the, necessarily. You'll stay for in probably the weekend unless they give you a bond. So are you going to take the test or not? Well, in Ohio... I don't yeah. care about Ohio. We're not in Ohio anymore. Okay. Are you going to take the test or not? Hang on just a second. No. No. Yeah, it's a yes or a no. Let me think of this. No, it's a yes or a no. Can I call a lawyer? Nope. You don't get a lawyer at this junction. Either way, I get arrested? If you refuse, yeah. If I get, if I test? If you test and you pass, you pass, you go home. You fail, you stay in jail for DUI. And? And, and that's, that's it. it. So either way, I'm arrested. Unless you pass. So, if it's a refusal, well, I mean, don't you just release you? No, 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 no. No refusal, I get one for blood and you still go to jail. Can I try the test again? No, we already did the test. Okay. I explained each test so, several times. So, what level, I mean, is there a level above 08? 0.08 or above. You, you're considered OWI. And then what happens to me? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm, what happens to me on that? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Release your hands. Release your hands. Okay. We can get these cuffs on easily, or... I, I, I'm sorry. I... What about my car? I'm going to pound it. For sale, 4224. Elvis, 1055. Being the lot of the 
Where's my car go? Be a Burger King in Greendale, uh, US 50 in Lloyd Lane. Have a one in custody for refusal. I have a two 1027s. Who's she? The girl I met. 27 on white male through Ohio, last name Mickle McClenborg. M E C K L E N B O R G. First name Robert, R O B E R T, no initial P Paul. Robert P. Mecklenburg. DOB of 1952 41. 1952 41, white male Ohio break. Twenty nine on white female through Kentucky, last name Roberts, R O B E R T S. First name Tonya, T I O N A, Mill Initial N Nora. DOB of nineteen eighty five one thirty, nineteen eighty five one thirty. Okay, come on back here. Come on. I am. Now she. Now she can get out of the car, right? She can go wherever she wants to. Well, give her a license back and let her go. Well, when I find out she's not wanted or something, I will. Now see. Right here? Yes, sir. Have a seat. Can you take this off? No. Nope. Get in the car. So she can leave immediately, right? I'm going to find out she has no warrant on her. Can I take this off? No. <clears throat> Miss? 